Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for NECA Friday the 13th figures? Because, gosh, I hope so. Somebody's obsessed. Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer upper. All right, guys, right here we have, so far, all of the NECA Friday the 13th Jason figures that we own. We're only missing a couple. We're working on that. Yes. Trust me. It's a slow process. And like she said, I might be a little bit obsessed. Now, we wanted to do a quick overlook at all of the figures. And then at the end, we've got two figures that we will be opening today. Yay! First of all, a little backstory. Growing up, I was always a huge Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees fan. Probably more than I should have. What does that say about you, that Jason Voorhees is your hero? He, he might have been my childhood <laughs> idol. <laughs> but I've always enjoyed the movies. And she was actually the one who got me my very first Jason figure. I did. Now, I'm not even sure what run he comes from. Did you say he was a NECA figure? Because it was quite some time ago. I, he was just by himself. He wasn't even in any kind of packaging. And someone had taken a mask from a different Jason and glued it to this Jason's head. Now, the design of him, it's especially like the way his skin looks underneath and the uh, the tattered clothing. It's very reminiscent of Part 9, Jason Goes say, to Hell. Yeah. But the thing is, in that movie, Jason had a different kind of shirt on. So, this seems more like just kind of a, almost a fan-created Jason figure. But I think that we had found a picture of him before, and the mask that they tried using was very similar to the Part 9 as well. Yeah, I found it online, and I, I got you a Jason figure. He comes with a machete. This was his, right? Yes, that was his. This was actually before NECA started making all their Jason figures, so I didn't think we would ever get any Jason figures. And he doesn't have a whole lot of movement. His wrists move, uh, his arms kind of move, and you got some waist movement there little bit in the head but he is the legs don't move at he all. is permanently in that standing stance regardless though i loved that she was sweet enough to get me this figure and we proudly showcased him on the shelves for years he's uh killed quite a few of my action figures <laughs> maybe, maybe pretty sure is. one of my he strangled one of my figures because she her neck fit perfectly in his hand and she was suspended in the air <laughs> Let's start off with Friday the 13th Part 3, which was in 3D, 3D, which is why you have that fantastic lenticular cover of him coming at you with watch the Watch out, knife. watch out. He's going to stab you in the eyeball. Now, something that's actually very cool is growing up, I did have all of the VHS of Friday the 13th, <laughs> and this was the cover that we had on our VHS. It didn't have that lenticular design, but it was him stabbing through the shower curtain. Let me just randomly throw up some popcorn to be eating it. <laughs> now the nice thing about the naked figures is whenever you open up that gatefold first of all you get to see everything that's inside so if you don't want to take your toys out of your box they're crazy but it does give you the chance to display them without actually taking them out you get to see how detailed he is there but you don't get to fully appreciate that mm -hmm. until you take him out of the box Plus, part three comes with some great extra pieces. I mean, he's got his machete, of course, because he loves his machete, but look at the weapons. He's got the poker. He's got the pitchfork. He's got the bloody wrench, a knife, an ax, and even a spear gun. Because uh, where do you think he got that mask? He also comes with two heads, and the masks do come off. Oh, look at that face! <laughs> His mommy loves this face. Now there's a face. Only a mother could love. <laughs> the other mask has the axe wound in it, and of course, since it was just made, it is bleeding out. Oh. Poor Jason. Real quick, what's one of your favorite things about Friday the 13th Part 3? Probably when he pops his head and the eyeball 3D comes at you. <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> <Just bonk. laughs> Personally, I kind of like the jackass walking on his hands in the hallway and Jason splits him in half. Oh, that's painful. I can't hear you. 
Next up is Friday the 13th Part 4, the final chapter. <laughs> if you think that they were going to stop at 4? They're crazy. Again, NECA box shows off that display. Gives you a nice picture right there for oh, look, posing. Oh, he comes with mom's grave. He does. That's so sweet. Yeah, he's got some really great uh, pieces in here. Comes with one of my favorite scenes, weapons. The corkscrew. Hey, Ted! Ted, hey, Ted, where the hell's the corkscrew? And, of course, to go with that, you do need the cleaver. He's also got a uh, butcher knife that would probably make Michael Myers pretty jealous. You also have the hacksaw. That's another great scene. When the uh, mortician, when he's watching his weird exercise video. Yeah. And then the axe, because, hey, it's not summer camp without an axe. You gotta cut wood. And he does have the two heads as well. And again, they come off. There's not a whole lot of difference between them. <laughs> no, not really. About the only thing that you can do with the other one is you can put the machete, boom, right there in his face for that gruesome kill scene. That should have been the end of Jason Voorhees. We haven't really talked about the movement. Everyone pretty much has about the same amount of movement. A mm -hmm. little bit in the head, the arms, legs. All the, the standard places that you would expect there to be movement. I just really always like that you can take the masks off. And there's detail under the mask. That I really nice. like that. They could have just left it to where it was stuck on there and it doesn't come off. And, you know, you don't get to see anything. Next up is the Jason from Part 5, A New Beginning. This one's curious. The one that we have is actually from Tommy's nightmare sequences. So mm -hmm. this is like the real Jason yeah. from Hallucinations. Which is why he's got the worms coming out of his mask. And he's got almost a perpetual wetness to his figure too because... Tommy often dreamed yeah. of him in the uh, the graveyard while I will it was say, raining. This one's mask does not come off. Oh, and that makes sense because technically, other than Roy's face, you do not get to see what's under the mask this time mm -hmm. around. On that front is kind of a weird cover. I never had this cover on VHS. Mine had the uh, the brand new hockey mask that wasn't even in the movie. But on the inside, this fantastic photo of Jason coming up out of his grave. Speaking of his grave, one of the little pieces that you get is that nice wood slat and <laughs> uh, runny paint Jason Voorhees headstone. That's great. This one's also the fun one because this is where his hand gets cleaved in half. And the weird thing is, that messed up hand, he actually had that happen to him in part four. But maybe they just wanted to put it in part five's box to give him more maybe, pieces. Maybe because he came up out of the ground with his hand still cut in half. And he does have the axe. And the machete. And the different masks are kind of fun, too. So, of course, he's got the worm mask. Then he's got a uh, fairly clean mask, just with some blood running down from the, the axe gets hole. hit right in the head with it. And then he's got a very dirty mask. This is when he first comes up out of the ground. And, of course, they put that weird modern mask. Because the whole idea of A New Beginning was to set up that it could be a Jason-like killer, but not be Jason. Because 2, 3, and 4, as ugly as he was, Jason was just a normal guy. You wouldn't dead yet. Also worth noting is on the back, of course, on all of the boxes, it shows a little bit of uh, the characters in action and various poses and everything. This one has the extra piece of Tommy looking on in the rain. And it's that just kind of like an art piece. Have. Yeah, it would. Probably one of my favorite parts of part 5 is Vic. <laughs> not taking the candy bar. Well, if that's how you feel about it, Vic, you can forget it. Just forget it. But I think you're really out of line. <laughs> or, uh, that dance. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Part 6, Jason Lives, because let's face it, the whole idea of Jason being human and being somebody else was ridiculous. So let's bring him back. And this is the Deadpool Jason because he has all the pouches. Oh, I know. I used to, I actually used to love that as a kid. It's so goofy. But yeah, his pouch that has like the throwing knives in it. He's got that damn hunting knife with him. A sheath for his machete instead of just carrying it around all the time. When Jason got cold and decided, I don't like my hands being exposed to the <laughs> elements. So I'm going to start wearing some gloves. And the cool thing about this one is... The knife, the comes, knife out. comes out. So, send an RV careening off the road while jamming to some teenage Frankenstein. A nice, shiny new machete. Or, whoopsies. Obviously, the mask comes off. He almost looks like a mummy. His, without the mask on this one. His yeah. His face is almost mummy-like. They did a great job showing off uh, some bone elements of his face and showing off that damage where he really took it to the skull and mm -hmm. the side of his face. Even though in the movie you barely get to see him. It's a very brief moment for that. Mm-hmm. Inside you've got that nice, just standard pose right there. And he comes with the fence pole <laughs> the piece that he took from the graveyard uh, he's pretty deadly with that in the friday the 13th video game he's pretty proficient with that <laughs> pole. i always loved in uh, one of the trailers lightning strikes the the tombstone and just <laughs> explodes the damn thing it's great And part six also had that ridiculous intro where he's like James Bond. Because <laughs> that's what you want to see. Because why not? Now we are up to the remake figure. Which I actually thought that was a decent movie. I, I thought they did a good yeah. job with the remake. Damn you! You traitor! He's got some uh, some great looks to him. First of all, I mean, he's just he's such a human -like hulking again, so. figure. Very true. And right now on him, we have the bag head to start off with. And the pose that I put him in, he's very much contemplating his fate with that hockey yeah. mask. Now, the bag does not come off. You have to change his whole head. Right. So, so you can't unwrap to see his face. And he's got a different kind of outfit than what... Jason from the original movies has he wear he's wearing more of like a coat with um, a shirt underneath it and then he's got like a like a holster or like a pouch holster leg thing going on down there. Of course, if you've seen the movie as big as he is, you also saw that he knows how to move. He does. And uh, not only does he run and attack, but that scene of him when he is up on top of a building, it's almost like a samurai <laughs> <laughs> with the nice guy behind him. So again, of course, he's got his mask and the axe. He's also got a pickaxe, a change of hands for that screwdriver, his machete, and bring him back to fire poker. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, that face that, I don't know, that might be a little too much for even a mother to love on that yeah, face. Yeah, and once again, just like when Jason was wearing the mask in, in the second movie, he's got the longer hair to go yes, with Yes, which was a nice touch. Mm -hmm. They definitely paid attention to some of the details where they did the remake. Are you ready to open your newest figures? Oh, hey now. Ladies first. This is one that I think we've been thinking about opening for quite some we time. We have kept this one in the box for a while, which is very unlike us, but there's a reason that we've kept this one in the box. It looks like the video game, and when you open it, it's that wonderful sound. And you've got all that 8-bitty goodness, so it's like, he's been really, really hard to take out, but we decided, let's do it. 
as you can see on that inner flap, it says you and your friends are dead. Game over. Because it's not just enough that you failed, but all of your friends are dead because of you too. Now this has lots of little nice touches on the inside of the box because you have Jason's health bar on the bottom, but then at the top you have the game's uh, heads up display with how many children are left and if they're in danger or not. You have one of the counselors who's already got the torch, but he's not doing too good on life himself. <laughs> and then the figure inside, you see that he's got an axe, he's got his machete, and, and of course he's got mama's head <laughs> and something kind of cool is they've got this one on like a pike or a little pole so it can fly around just like in the game i think since she's been so patient for us to keep this in its box i think it should be her to get to open it. i've just been obsessed i love the 8-bit jason i just love his color scheme There he is out in all of his glory. One thing that I do love is that his machete and his axe are very cartoony. So, I mean, they are very on par with being like a video game. He's all purple, but his hands and feet and mask are green. Hey, he looks just like Russ Lyman. <laughs> the mask does come off. And you've got that lovely face. <laughs> yeah. It's weird, his eyes are a lighter purple. Go home and cut the grass. Murder some teenagers. Okay. Pick up your toys! You left your axe and your knife! Pick them up! Oh, we'll get them later! Pick them up now! Ooh, pick them up now! Pick them up now! Ooh. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh, my sweet, innocent Jason. My only child. Jason. And the latest addition to the collection has been part two. Uh, yeah. Now there is a fantastic, uh, huge version of this yes. that has the table with Mama's head. And I think it also has Mama in it as well. So in here we have part two Jason, Baghead Jason. So he does come with a campfire with the fire. And you do get mom's head, but you don't get that altar table with her sweater. Yeah. Of course, you've got uh, some great weapons. Gotta give him that pickaxe. He's got a little bit of a pitchfork, like the, the smaller one that you would have. A bloody machete. <laughs> and then this spear. I do remember the spear part of the movie. And holy cow, that spear is seriously like as long as the box in there. <laughs> and I think it's time to get him out of there. There he is in his flannel <laughs> and uh, overall glory. I've got to say, I'm glad Jason made a wardrobe change. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little Farmer Joe. The uh, the outfit makes sense considering the uh, the idea behind the character at that time, mm -hmm. but I'm much more of a fan of his more iconic shirt and pant <laughs> ensemble later on. Yeah, I would also like to note that you can see that eyeball through the bag. Now, does the bag come off or is it attached? It to... does not. Okay, but you do get that extra head of his. Yeah. So if you want to see him. You can, and he's got that long hair, as you mentioned, from mm -hmm. the uh, the newer one. I was always curious as to why he only had hair on half of his head. Like, I can understand, like, a deformity of, like, the face, but, like, I don't know. It almost seems like he was burned or something. It kind of looks like that. Something I want to note here is not only does he have a little bit of stubble for a beard, but if you take a look at his face... I think they actually swapped it later on. Like, after this movie, I think the more messed up part of his face was, was the then on side. the other side. Yeah, I think going so, Going forward. It comes with Mom's head, and she's got her little severed neckness going Ooh. on down here. Something else that I think is kind of interesting is, even though it's smaller, it is literally verbatim the 8-bit head. That's pretty neat. So it's like they took that base head and just kind of blew it up to make it a little more yeah. bigger, expressive. Yep. 
And near as I can tell, he actually kind of stands like this. He's kind of leaned off to one side. So I think he's supposed Didn't he to be have, in like, that a pose. Didn't he have like a weird little gait in the movie anyway when he walked? Kind of a, that like kind of. I just figured his uh, his pants were riding up on him. Well, maybe they are. <laughs> Something also fun to note is the box art. Now, the silhouette holding the axe, that was like the original box art that I had on the VHS cover, but there was not this image on the inside. But this one, it's neat because it's very reminiscent of the ending of the first movie, where young Jason leaps out of the water to grab the uh, final girl in a dream. Was it a dream? What this about is... the boy? The boy in the water. Ma'am. We found no boy. <laughs> and he's still there. I actually really like the um, the fire. It's really kind of a clever little thing. That, I mean, it looks really good. That makes for a nice prop piece. It does. Speaking of that, our comic shop, the Comic Cave, before they closed, they did have a Friday the 13th Part 6 prop set. It had just a bunch of uh, additional little prop pieces, so there was like a Crystal Lake sign and stuff. The only problem was for me, I think it was $30 every time we saw it. Yeah. And since they were just little prop pieces, I didn't really want to jump on I it. I still would price. love to get it someday. Be a lot of fun to go with all of our Jasons. You could say someone's obsessed. These are just <laughs> the, uh, the main NECA figures. These guys are so much fun. It's great to see how much the character has changed from film to film and how awesome of a job mm -hmm. NECA does in showing off that detail in all of them. It's so incredible. And you can tell he's got a favorite shirt. He does. <laughs> of course, he definitely changes the pants up, though. Well, you know, you get them dirty and you mess them up, but that shirt, you know, must have been on sale at, like, Walmart or JCPenney's or something. He is a lot bigger than all of these guys. Like, a lot. All right, nerdlings, as always, we love to hear what you have to say down in the comments below. Let us know. Favorite Jason movie, favorite scene, favorite Jason, maybe favorite toy. Maybe uh, you like this Jason better, but yep. this toy looks pretty cool. And, of course, let us know if you happen to collect any of the figures yourselves. Leave a like if you happen to like the video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell just in case we uh, fill in the gaps a little bit mm -hmm. so you can know when... We're going for the full when we set. we can finally get that Freddy vs. Jason or the Roy. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. And if we like it, we nerd it. Bye, nerdlings. I was kind of waiting for them to all start like looking around. Where's Mom? Nope. Okay. Dingus. Dingus. Uh, what is going on there? <laughs> Singing opera. <laughs> let's start our <clears throat> art. Let's start our art, art, art. There's a seal in the room. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Okay. His hand fell off again. Mommy loves that face. This one's my favorite. All right.